The kitchen staff at Allie's Pick hail from some better looking locales, but appearances don't phase them. They craft a menu far above the usual bar food joint. This is a cash only place where the pub grub can stand alone and stand proud. It's on Geneva in San Francisco and it's called Broken Record. My name is James Moisey. I'm the chef of the Broken Record, a restaurant and neighborhood bar in the Excelsior. We really enjoy being out here in the Excelsior because the Excelsior has a sense of personality unlike that of anywhere else in San Francisco. There's a true local identity here and we really appreciate being able to contribute to it. It's a great time here. Uh, James and I are having the time of our life, uh, just trying to make people happy for cheap prices, great food, and originality. That's what's uh, most important to us. A lot of times we'll just uh, bring home ingredients from the fridge here, you know, try to come up with something crazy to eat at two or three o'clock in the morning, and uh, who knows, it may end up on the menu. I affectionately refer to our food as upscale, trashy cuisine. For example, our duck home few potato skins are a four-day process, and they're finished with truffle oil. At the same time, we'd like to make it a little bit more pedestrian and add a little bit of ranch dressing to that plate and uh, makes it a little bit more humble. All right, Ellie, I, I take it you're not a vegetarian if, you, if this, <laughs> <laughs> this is your spot. Bacon, bacon, and more bacon. Yeah, well, I actually used to be a vegetarian, oh, really? so I probably wouldn't have gone to the Broken Record, although they do actually have a pretty decent selection of vegetarian items for folks who like that type of thing. Right. Um, but I think their, their standout tends to be a little bacon heavy. Yeah. Uh, it's not for everyone, I will definitely say that. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, out in it's Excelsior, yeah. uh, kind of down by the Cow Palace. Right. And um, you walk up, it's a little dicey looking, you walk in, it's kind of a dive bar, Go to the back, it's seen better days, um, and they do really nice bar food. I mean, it's, you know, burgers and sandwiches and appetizers, and then they'll occasionally have some fancy specials. You know, for a while they were doing French toast with foie gras. Right. Oh. Do you have a favorite dish that, that when you're drinking bourbon, <laughs> that, you know? I, I actually am a really big fan of their hamburger. Oh. They uh, hand grind the meat and they grind the bacon, actually, it's a bacon, bacon burger, mm -hmm. and they grind the bacon into the hamburger meat hand form it, cook it to order, and it's it's quite tasty. I'm not a big fan of sort of bacon on the burger, but right. the, the bacon in the burger is pretty pretty good. Is what you like. All right, you two are a little bit quiet over here, so <laughs> I want to I wanna dig in, and uh, Eric? Susan, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's interesting, I, I thought it was great for bar food. Um, love the bar, wish it were closer to my neighborhood, so I'd, I'd go shoot some pool. Um, and I thought the pulled pork, was excellent. And my boyfriend got the, the bacon cheeseburger and I didn't like the bacon and, and the mm. hamburger. I wished it were more crunchy and, you know, bacony on top. But I, I enjoyed the sandwich. Um, we had the crunchy broccoli. Mm -hmm. That was very good. Deep fried broccoli with little shavings of cheese and, and chili flakes. So light food. You had a little bit of light. Light yeah, food, exactly. Light and airy. <laughs> and, all right, now Eric, now we're getting to it. I'm... Allie, I am sorry. I, this place didn't work for me at all. What didn't you like about it? The place, the food, everything? Um, the first things that sort of set me off, there was no top on the toilet tank, nor a, a, a <laughs> switch plate on the light, which sort of set the tone for me. I went to the bar and asked for a glass of wine. They don't have wine. No, That's no right. wine. They, no, they had no wine. one kind of wine served in a screw top bottle, like an airplane. And they had. Although screw caps are great, as a, as a screw wine Screw caps person, are I coming in. I, I understand. Uh, they also had something called F U Stupid Wheat Beer uh, <laughs> on tap. And I asked the bartender about that and, you know, made a joke about it. And he said, no, we are known as the F U Stupid Bar. Yeah. And that's clear. So, once again, Allie, I agree with your uh, premise. <laughs> it's not for everyone. I'm part of the group that it's not for. Take a sip of your wine, breathe, it's okay. <laughs> we can, ha um, Alec we, can handle it, she's a big girl. Okay. We, uh, uh, we started with the deep fried broccoli, which came out burnt and acrid. Mm. Then we went to the fried clams, which had an industrial strength breading. 
the high school friend I went with uh, said that the oil was d wonderful, but the yeah. breading was a little bit heavy. Hmm. Um, we also had the duck confit potato skins, and when you press them with a fork, the grease spilled out on the plate. Now, I've known this man for 40 years, and this is the first time he's ever left food on the plate. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. So it just, it wasn't... It's not for me. Right. Uh, let me just say that the service staff was extremely friendly and cordial, and the bartender pointed to the 250 whiskeys he had overhead. That's right. I really like the food. Okay. I, I think it's great. I have mm -hmm. friends who live right down the street, right. and so we just sort of end up there a lot. It's kind of fun. It's really relaxed. It's also, in my opinion, a fantastic place for a big group. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, you order, you pay cash, you go get drinks at the bar, right. you avoid that, you know, group paycheck right. thing where you, you know, yeah. you, you order the salad and all of a sudden it's yeah. $100. Right. Right. Um, right. And the menu <laughs> items change a lot. The menu items change and there, there tends to be something for everyone. And dessert, know? too, because one of Ooh. the chefs was a pastry yeah. chef also. The, the waffle yeah. happens to be a, a favorite. And the, they make this roasted banana ice cream mm -hmm. that is really, really good. And like moon pies and, you know. Let's talk about the brownie. Okay. I started eating it and didn't come up for air till I was done. <laughs> it's really, yeah. really, really good. Yeah. You know, here's a standard sort of bar. They got burgers and they got sandwiches. And then something as simple as, you know, a brownie with ice cream is, you know, in my opinion, up there with some of the better, you know, sort of brownie ice right. cream type things you would get at any place for a dessert. Yeah. So I, again, I think it's the, the you know, it could also be the night. Right. You know, well, maybe well, they're not having an off night. It's just not your thing. I, you know, it's. He didn't know it was a, a bring your own toilet cover. Yes. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I've been locked in the men's room, product. so I haven't had that experience. I think it's <laughs> Oh, that could be. Mm -hmm. And it's your restaurant, Ali. So uh, give us a quick summary of Broken Record. Uh, the Broken Record, I think, is above average sort of dive bar fancy food. Um, it's great for a group, and you know, a little, a little, a little something you wouldn't expect where it, where it is. And Susan, I loved it as a bar. Uh, with, wished it were closer. It probably won't go back just because of the location. Um, and I definitely love the brownie. So. <laughs> and Eric, your final thoughts on Broken Record? I think you are correct. I think if you want to drink whiskey and eat a bacon burger, it's a good spot, uh, as long as you understand what you're in for. All right, if you would like to try Broken Record, it's on Geneva at Naples in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-963-1713. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are not accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $15, which is cash only.